Hi, my name is Detective Garcia. I'm with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office with the Property Crimes Unit in uh, District 3. We, uh, we investigate crimes anywhere from, from thefts to burglaries to, uh, to vehicle thefts, anything like that comes to our unit. And one of the topics that, it's, uh, that is big within our unit this uh, holiday season is the theft of mail. Uh, that includes from the mailbox as well as packages and things that are delivered to your doorstep and porches. Well, the holidays are, uh, you know, they're a special time. Uh, everybody likes to share with family members, with friends. Everyone likes to send gifts. A lot of the times those relatives are uh, long distance, so they'll send checks, gift cards, cash in the mail. We obviously never recommend sending cash and checks in the mail. Um, there's a lot of different alternate methods that we recommend. Uh, a lot of them electronic methods, uh, including things like PayPal or electronic gift cards. A lot of stores will let you uh, send an electronic gift card via email. Obviously, that's a more secure way to do that. Less chance of it being intercepted along the way. Uh, and you know, the criminals definitely know that this is the season of giving. So a lot of the times they'll take advantage of that and uh, we'll use that as a, as a way to, uh, you know, to take stuff from the hardworking citizens who are uh, obviously uh, giving gifts to their family and uh, they'll go around checking mailboxes. A lot of the times they'll take your mail and with the intent of looking for things like checks and, uh, and cash. So we highly do recommend that you, you take your mail out throughout the day and don't leave it overnight if possible. We suggest um, citizens really connect with your neighbors. Sometimes a lot of good ways is to really find a neighbor that you trust and uh, especially if they're retired or they stay at home while you're out during the day and uh, you know just have your neighbors keep an eye out if you get a package maybe have your neighbor go and collect it for you and take it inside as soon as they see it's delivered uh, we find that the least amount of time that it remains outdoor the less chance that someone's going to come up and uh, scoop it up off your front door we find that surveillance video is very useful um, not only as a deterrent for the criminal that may approach your house and see the camera uh, in a lot of cases they may back away uh, but also on the back end of the investigation if they do take your package uh, a lot of our cases are actually solved through video surveillance um, from residents who have these suspects captured on video surveillance. Chances are a lot of the times this is not their first time they've done it. So if we can get a face, anything that we can get, it's usually very helpful in uh, us making an identification and uh, oftentimes leading to an arrest in the case. Regarding the packages that get delivered throughout the day um, from UPS, FedEx, whatever company you might have, um, a, lot of the, a lot of the things you can do to help yourself um, as I mentioned previously, try to make arrangements with the neighbor that you trust to pick it off off your porch. Um, there's companies that are, that are offering alternate methods and they will deliver your package to that center, which is secured and uh, they have mailbox fashion uh, lock boxes. They'll give you your number and a code. You can go and retrieve your package from that facility whenever it is convenient to you. And uh, that way you don't have to worry about it sitting on your porch, especially if you're out of town or you're on vacation or you work long hours. Um, you know, getting through companies that do that are a great way to uh, avoid being a victim of, uh, of mail theft and package theft. As always, we, we recommend and we, we ask all the citizens and everybody in the community out there as you're, as, you're, as you're home throughout the day and at nighttime to please report anything that you see that is suspicious to you, any subjects going around, uh, looking at houses, anybody strange that you don't recognize in your neighborhood. Uh, especially this time of the year. Please report that to your local law enforcement. It may not seem like a lot at first, but you never know the smallest tip, tips can lead to the biggest arrest. So anybody suspicious that you see, any suspicious incidents that you see, anything like that, we ask that you please report it to your local law enforcement. And as always, we'd like to, uh, on behalf of the Pasco Sheriff's Office, we'd like to uh, wish everybody a happy holidays and uh, stay safe.